Today on our 2017 Jeep Renegade, we're going to be installing Kurtz Class 2 1 quarter inch trailer hitch receiver, part number C12142. And this is what our hitch is going to look like when it's installed. As you can see, you are going to be able to see the cross tube that goes across and your receiving hitch, but it is going to be tucked back, so unless you're up close, you won't really notice it too much. It has a Class 2 1 quarter by 1 quarter inch receiver. This is going to be great for bike racks, cargo carriers, and light towing. It uses a half inch hitch pin and clip. Now one of these does not come included with your hitch, but you can pick one up here at eTailer.com with part number PC2. It features plate style, safety chain loopholes. They are going to be a little bit smaller, but they should work with multiple different styles. From your larger hooks to your smaller S style. It features a 350 pound tongue weight, that's the force going down on top of the receiver, and a 3500 pound gross towing capacity, and that's how much that it can pull behind it. You do want to make sure that you check your vehicle's owner's manual to ensure you don't exceed its towing capacities. Kurt also recommends that you use a stabilization strap when hauling any non-trailer loads. And that's basically anything without wheels. You can pick up a stabilization strap here at eTrailer.com. And now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiving tube, it's going to measure about 10 and a half inches. And since this does have a lower ground clearance, I would recommend that you get a raised shank on any of your accessories such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. And from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it measures about five and a half inches. This is important when determining if any of your folding accessories can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. And that'll complete our look at the hitch. Let's show you how to get it installed. We'll begin our installation underneath the vehicle on the driver's side here at the back corner. There's going to be some plugs in the frame rail that we're going to need to remove. There'll be one located on the bottom here at the back of the frame rail. You'll want to pull this plug out and there'll be two located on the outside. There'll be one towards the rear of the vehicle and there'll be one slightly towards the front. We're going to need to remove the one that's towards the front of the vehicle. It's just like the one on the bottom, so we'll just pull that out. We'll repeat the same process on the other side. You're going to see a band of caulk that runs around the frame here. This can interfere with our hitch, making it difficult to install. So you can take a razor knife and we're just going to scrape that off to make it as flush as possible. We're just going to do this on both sides, just around this hole here. We'll now need to enlarge this hole to make it large enough to fit our spacers and carriage bolt heads through. So you can use a file, a Dremel tool, or a step bit to enlarge this to the right size. There is no exact size, just as long as they'll fit up in there. Now we're going to feed our fish wire in to pull our hardware through. You're going to want to start with the holes in the side of your frame first. Take the coil then, push it in through the hole, and work it back towards the hole that we enlarged. Once you've got it pulled through, slide on a spacer and follow that with a carriage bolt. Thread that onto the coil then. Push the spacer up into the frame, then your carriage bolt next. Then just pull that out, working it back towards your hole. Now we are going to want to just poke that right inside the frame and just leave it sitting inside there to make it easier to get our hitch up. We'll do the same process for the other holes in the side of the frame. And for the bolt in the lower portion of your frame, you'll take your coiled wire, slide the spacer on it, thread the carriage bolt on, then you'll push the bolt up in the frame, followed by the spacer, and just pull it back down. And you repeat that on the other side. And now with the next set of hands, we're going to lift our hitch into position. When raising it up, make sure to feed your fish wire through the corresponding holes, one on the side and one on the bottom. After you've got it raised into position, you can take your fish wire off and thread on one of the flange nuts. Once you have a nut on each side, thread it on. The hitch will hold itself into position, making it easier to install the rest of the hardware. Then pull your bolts through on the outside and thread the nuts on there as well. 
Then tighten all your nuts using a 19 millimeter socket. For your side bolts, you may need to use a wrench. Work all of your hardware to the specifications found in your instructions. And you repeat that for all the remaining hardware. And that completes our installation of Kurtz Class 2 1 1⁄4 inch trailer hitch receiver on our 2017 Jeep Renegade.